What's going on everyone? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to the next video. We got to find the derivative of this crazy function over here. So we got the square root of x plus the square root inside that square root is x plus the square root of x. Right. So lots going on here. Notice that we have a bunch of functions within functions. So we're going to have to use the chain rule to find this derivative. So there's different ways to do this. I'm going to show you the way I go about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the outer square root to a rational exponent. Because remember with the chain rule, we got to start from the outside, take the derivative of the outside and then work our way inside. So I'm going to rewrite this function here as x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x. And this is all to the power of a half. So I just took that square root on the outside and changed it to a power half. And now let's get into finding the derivative. So we take the derivative of the outside. So we bring the one half down. The inside function stays the same. We subtract one from the exponent, but now we got to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rewrite that inside function here just so we could see it a little more clearly by itself isolated. And I'm going to find the derivative of this. But before finding the derivative of this, let's call it uh, function g. I'm going to rewrite this function now as x plus and then this square root. I'm going to change to a power of a half like that. So we got to find the derivative of this. So the derivative of g would be what's the derivative of x? It's just one. And then over here, what we do is we bring the one half down in front of the bracket. The inside function, notice there's another function here in this bracket stays the same. Subtract one from the uh, from the exponent. And now what we got to do is we got to multiply this by the derivative of the inside function. Right. So I'm going to take this function now x plus the square root of x and I'm going to find the derivative of that. So let's call it uh, function h. So uh, I'm going to rewrite h as x plus x to the power of a half. Change that square root there. And now to find the derivative of it, this would be one plus bring the one half down, subtract one from the exponent. Right. So again, when I derive this function here, I brought the one half down, subtracted one from the exponent. But now I got to take the derivative of this inside function and multiply it by that. And the derivative of this inside function I did here, which is one plus one over two x to the negative one half like that. Now you got to be careful that you're not taking this and multiplying it by this whole thing here. You're only multiplying it by this term. OK, because this x here is separate from this function. And so what we did was we found the derivative of these two functions separately. So the derivative of x was one and then the derivative of this function is all of this. Over here. Okay, so just be careful that you're not taking this and multiplying it by this whole thing. You're just multiplying it by this expression. It's a common mistake that happens. So this represents the derivative of this. So what we can do is we could put uh, this in large brackets like that. And now what we do is we take this and put it into this bracket. OK, so again, we had to do the chain rule a bunch of times. So I'm going to take this, rewrite it one plus one over two x plus the square root of x, negative one over two. And then I took the derivative of the inside, which ended up being one plus one over two x to the power of negative one over two. Like that. And again, I just multiplied this by this expression, not by the one. The one stays separate. And that ends up being the final answer. And if we want to make it look nicer, if we want to change 
all of the uh, negative exponents to positive exponents. Notice how I could bring this whole expression down and it would change to the power of positive a half, which is like the square root. So let's go through these one by one. So this expression here would be one over two. This I'm bringing down to the uh, denominator. It's gonna change to a positive a half. So that would be the square root of x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x, like that. Right, so I brought this down, changed to a positive a half, and then instead of a positive a half, I just brought that big square root back. So that's this part. Um, and then in these square brackets here, this one, nothing happens with this one, but over here, we can do a bunch of stuff. So we could write one over two, and then this we can bring down and change it to a positive a half, and then that positive a half, I'm gonna to change to a square root. So it would end up being the square root of x plus the square root of x, like that. It was x plus the square root of x to the power of a half. Changed it to a positive when I brought it, brought it to the denominator, but then I just brought that square root back. And then this is multiplied by this. So we can, uh, yeah, let's just split these up. So here we'll have one plus one over two, and then x to the negative a half, that's like one over x to the power of positive a half, which is just the square root of x. And then we have to close this square bracket here. Okay, and maybe you could simplify it even further, but uh, maybe you could even like um, foil these out, but I'm just gonna leave it like this. This here is the final derivative for that function right there.